السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Uh, this is a continuation for our series. Uh, we will run this video in English because uh, uh, I receive uh, a lot of requests demanding us to make it in English. Uh, today we'll talk about the solar charge controller. Uh, this is our solar charge controller. We have, as we said in the previous series, that there is two kinds of uh, two types of solar charge controller, either B WM or MBBT. Now, this is BWM. The difference between both of them, only the efficiency, this is uh, around 80% efficiency. That one, the other one, uh, MBBT, is around uh, uh, 90 up to 95% efficiency. Now, uh, to uh, simulate the uh, actual uh, system, the actual solar system, we added here uh, power source 12 volt uh, 500 milliampere 0.5 ampere this is to replace the solar panels assuming this is a solar panel and this is now providing here hooked up to the charge controller in the positive and negative side if you notice here there is uh, the, the picture of solar panel so we hooked up the charge control the, the solar panels or the power source to the, this two now as well as we hooked up the battery positive to the positive and negative to the negative to the place of the battery terminal here in the charge controller and we have here the load the load in our case here the load is uh, this lit lit uh, light 10 watt so we have the negative and positive as well okay yeah, let's talk about the feature of uh, of this a little bit. Now, this this one uh, is 30 uh, ampere uh, uh, capacity, uh, uh, 600 uh, watt, the charge controller. Now, if you noticed here, it gave us at the beginning. If we there is this menu, it shows number one monitoring. This is to monitor the system. Let's see the system. It shows us the status of the this is BV mean the panel so this is the panel as we said this is simulating the panel so the panel now providing us 13 volt with 0.4 ampere 400 milliampere now this is charging the battery if we look at the battery here the battery this is the battery situation now it is uh, charged with 13 volt with 400 milliampere is going to the battery now here the temperature this is the ambient temperature and this is the load the load currently provided with zero volt and zero amps if we look at it, here we'll find that there is a light that the solar solar uh, panels means providing uh, uh, an ampere to the to the charge controller and to the system now if we switch off the this is the panels. Now we switch off the panels. We found that the, the lights been turned off. And um, if we back to the to see the status of the panels, it's gave us because this is the the minimum. It give us 4.5.4 volt to the system, but this is not enough. Now uh, let's back go to the uh, main menu. In the main menu. If you notice here, number four is the load set. We will go and setting the load. It's setting the load. Here, the lights, there is manual and there is light on off. Let's get the light on off. We will find here, we can look at the load now. Yes, it is being turned on means the lights been turned on what I did actually I gave instructions or I changed the programming in the control in the charge controller in the case that the panels not charging that mean it is night when when the the panels will not charging when it will be night at that time only the load will be turned on so in that case only when the charge when the solar panels 
I'm not charging the battery, that means it is night time, then I need the lights to be turned on. Clear? Now, if I, let's back to the monitoring screen, okay. Okay, now, I'll turn on the charging mode for the panels. You notice that now it is charging with 12.9 volt with 400 milliampere. Accordingly, as the cell charging means there, there is uh, sunlight, the load or the light turned off. So this is the beauty of this uh, charge controller. It, you don't need to add uh, what we call photocell to the system. So it is built in. There is a sensor which shows or there is a switch which telling the light or to the load to, to uh, turn on once the solar panels are not providing uh, uh, volt or any current. Uh, this is so in, the, in that one we see here the condition of in the monitoring the condition of the solar panel we will see the condition of the battery now it is let's see this one just to confirm okay this gives us 0 0.41 or 0 0.4 ampere, 400 milliampere, same as the charge controller display is 0 0.4 ampere. That means the charge controller uh, display is, is correct, which is great. Uh, that's it uh, for today. Uh, this is about the charge controller, how to hook up the charge controller to the system, what uh, is the uh, features in the charge controller 